What's going on everyone? It's Brain Witch Code You Find Jewelry, your personal jeweler. I have not made a video in a week, so I'm craving on putting the camera on and doing a making a video for you guys. And my favorite videos to do are the review videos. I have a 7mm 24 inch diamond cut rope chain and the new heavy Cuban chain 7mm 24 inches as well. So both 7mm, but I want to just do a direct comparison because these are both around that 100 gram mark. The Cuban link is a little less than the rope chain, but nonetheless, it's 100 grams, break the neck, and for most of us, break the bank account as well. So you need to know what you're buying, feel comfortable with that, and also just kind of see the side by side, the pros and cons of each. And we're gonna talk about that in this video. With that being said, let's get started. So here's a side by side of the two, the seven millimeter heavy Cuban on the left and the seven millimeter rope chain on the right. Now with ropes on any width, you are gonna get that bigger look. As you guys can see, if I go straight down the middle here, you just see that that rope chain stands out more, just the design, the links, and everything. The heavy Cuban, you have nice tight links but they aren't the thickest links and that's where you kind of have to shop around depending on what you want to do um, a lot of people are very particular the weight they want around the neck these cuban links aren't as heavy as some of them out there you can go thicker as in like the thickness of the actual links not the width of them um, you could have a seven millimeter that weighs 30 grams more than this one does just because the links are a little thicker but nonetheless seven millimeters is seven millimeters and that's what we have here and that is why the rope it just stands up a lot taller more than a cuban link of any make will that's just the rope chain that's why like the smaller sizes you get more look with the rope chain so stays true but the thing is and i've noticed a lot of people want the weight around their neck want a nice chain when they want to wear a nice chain outside of their shirt and the rope chain, it's hard to do that because how thick it is, so it shows under the shirt when you're wearing it. I'll show a B-roll of me wearing it. That is not exactly true with this Miami Cuban link. Um, it, it doesn't, it's more flush to the skin, so you could put it under and it's not gonna have that imprint as a round, like a big Franco or a rope chain. So that is the benefit of wearing a nice Cuban link like this because you could have the weight, you could have a very well-made chain, and you don't necessarily have to worry about that imprint under the shirt if you don't like that. Me, I don't really mind, but honestly, and I'm not very particular either way, but I'd honestly rather have a chain that sits a little more flush to the skin, like a flat curb, Cuban, concave. You guys get the point. The bigger rope chains, I only break them out when I really want the chain to be seen. Now let's weigh these out. We have the seven millimeter, 24 inch. I just wanna show you guys just under 100 grams there. And then we have the seven millimeter heavy Cuban link, 88. So the rope chain on this model um, weighs more than the heavy Cuban link does. And now I'm rocking the seven millimeter, 24 inch rope chain. And this is the signature classic rope chain look right here. If it was me, eventually I'd drop one a little lower in two chain, but this is why the rope chain is the most popular chain in the world by far. It's not even close because it gives you this look because of these links. When you put them side by side, when you're wearing it around the neck, I got the presents 100 grams for this look right here. And guys, I'm not a small guy at all. And you definitely see this chain standing out under the sunlight. You see those diamond cuts glisten and it just makes for a perfect look on a nice gold chain. And now I'm wearing the seven millimeter, 24 inch heavy Cuban chain. And this is, again, if you're looking for that look and this is why this video helps, I don't care where you buy the chain from, I just wanna give you the honest opinion and facts about both these chains. For my subtle people, for my people that think they're gonna to wanna to tuck their chain in most of the time, a nice Cuban link or flat curb or Mariner or Figaro, chains like that are gonna work out better for you because it's hard to tell in the picture because I'm watching myself as I talk. I did the same with the rope chain. And again, they both look like nice gold chains, but in person, when you kind of get to see the depth of the thickness of links, that's when it stands out. So you kind of take my word for it. This chain is very easy to tuck in and it's like there's nothing going on, but you have that very nice 
side and back neck view, which is so underrated, which speaks volume, more volume than, in my opinion, than having the chain out. When people see you on the side and the back with that gold around the neck, you get that respect. So again, both great looks. It just depends on the look that you're going for because at the end of the day, the price of ground weight is pretty much the same. It's just kind of your preference on how you want to wear your gold chain. And to conclude this video, I'm just bringing my five and a half flat curves out. These are my daily chains, my never take it off chains. I'm, it's very important for everybody to have chains like this. Um, I always just keep them in though. And then when I add other chains or pendants, put them out and then you got a lot going on in the back. But you know what, that's how I like to wear them. As far as class, the Cuban links have the traditional box locks. The ropes have the lobster class. I'm working on adding barrel locks to the ropes as well as Franco's, that's in the works. I hope to get all that done within uh, pretty much by Christmas, like in a month or so, so stay tuned for that. Both great buys, ropes are just killing it. Everybody loves ropes, but the Cuban links are great as well. It's up to you, as I've said a million times in this video, smash that like button. That's it for today's video, and we'll see you on our next jewelry video.